Hello dear students and welcome back. In today's video, we'll learn how to copy file, move file, and rename file, and delete a file. And also, if we have enough time, we'll talk about wildcards. So, let's get started. Here I am in documents and I have dummy.txt, which is this one here. Now, let me make a copy of that. So, to do that, we use cp, which is shorthand for copy. Then the file name, which is dummy.txt, and I will uh, make a copy called smart.txt. And now we can see we have made a copy. This is it. Now, what if I want to um, create a folder here? So make directory, and this will be folder. And here's our, our folder here. And now. Um, put this one here so we can clearly see what is happening here inside this uh, this folder all right so we have that so now let's copy uh, dummy.txt into folder do that now let's list folder enter and you can see we have a copy of that inside this folder now let's clear everything and let's move now smart.txt into folder. And now we can see if we list folder, um, list folder, you can see we have smart.txt and dummy.txt inside folder. All right, let's move. Um, folder smart txt into current directory we do that and here it is so now you can see the use of the period here so when we learn about ls dash a we find we have these two special directories so i told you that one period stands for the current directory and two period stands for the parent directory and as such uh, we use here a single period so we refer to the current directory telling the move command to move this file to the current directory if we use double period so let's move smart to folder again all right and then make the same exact command and move it to the parent directory so now we should see it in the parent directory here it is let's go back here um yep this one here clear everything and let's move going to the parent directory smart.txt and move it to the current directory how awesome is that how smart is linux actually actually after starting using this you realize how oh, dummy windows like windows is the most used operating system in the world why it does not support something like that anyway let's keep moving clear everything and um here we are back into this um documents now i want to rename smart into something else how we can do that we will use the move command then the name of the file then a new file name so i will change that from smart to yes the txt why not hit enter and you can see we renamed the file to yes the txt list we have it so do we have anything inside folder let me check we have a copy of dummy.txt um we learned that we can delete a folder with its content with rm dash r then folder name and as such we have deleted that and also we can use rm without without any option to delete a file so as such let me uh, clear everything here and um we have dummy so let's create a copy here another copy 
and I want also to create another copy. Why not? Smart two, smart three. I think that's enough. And the reason for that, I want to show you how we can uh, work with wildcards and what are they exactly. So I want here to create a folder, make directory folder, and I want to move um, smart and then add star dot txt into folder enter and you can see all of them went to folder any file that starts with the smart went to the folder directory and the reason for that is wildcards so linux commands um, at least the built-in ones all of them like 99 percent of them support wildcards and a wildcard basically means is a special character like this star here there are so many more but this is the most common one here is basically says that I uh, move all the files that start with the smart and can have any character after the smart any linked characters and end with um, dot txt um, I believe if we just do the exact same thing here now folder and move that to the current directory and here they are um, if I am not mistaken I believe we have also a question mark and works so you see the difference now if we look at these all of them smart then we have two and three here we have smart and then dot a period right so um the question mark will means that there should be there have to be in the place of this um one character for this there's no characters as you can see um smart question mark dot t, dot txt smart dot txt there's no characters any character in, um, in the place of this question mark but for the star here uh, it means there should be at least um, there can be zero or more characters in the place of this star all right and um, they um, they can be zero one two three xb xhy any characters so let's take a practical example here so let's move everything back let's rename um smart 2.txt and rename it to smart uh 234 whatever dot txt and we have that here's a copy uh did i make a copy or move it no just created a copy awesome so uh, let me then use the move command smart uh, then hashtag um sorry not hashtag uh, star smart for god's sakes smart all right star dot txt move that to folder moves everything if I undo that and then um, I want to change this to question mark and you can see now this stays here because we have multiple characters this question mark means there should be one not zero not two one exactly one all right guys thank you very much for watching or uh before that did i talk to you about removing files let me check very quickly here uh talked about copy um yeah it seems like i did <laughs> sometimes you forget what you are talking about
anyway sorry for that guys thank you very much for watching i will see you in the next video